What's happening, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Ryan and Real Estate. We're going to get into a very special topic today, which is the uncertainty in the market and is certainty coming on this episode of Ryan and Real Estate. All right, welcome back. If you've not done so, take a minute, subscribe to our channel. And then once you subscribed, as you watch this video, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I would love to hear from you as always. All right, so Barbara Corkin from Shark Tank just dropped this video last week, and I think it's worth taking a look at. And then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it here in just a second. Hey, I'm here to tell you, you have one month to buy a house, one month, and here's why. Interest rates have just gone up. That sounds contrary, but with interest rates going up, everybody's moved to the sideline and they've taken a wait and see attitude. That's her take. One month, guys, one month you have. Why is she saying that again? Is because as we've been talking, even in previous videos, there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. And right now, what is the uncertainty that is in the market? It's really two things right now. And I'll get to those in just a second, but before I even get into that, Here's what's happening because of the uncertainty. And this is in Houston, every market's different, but less buyers are looking at home, less buyers are going under contract, less sales are being done, and sellers are going, why are my days on market continuing to rise? Again, it's because there is uncertainty. And the things that are causing uncertainty are two things. One, it's the election that's literally happening tomorrow. And does the election actually have an effect on home prices, home sales? If you look at the statistics, it really doesn't have a dramatic effect, but it does bring uncertainty and people want to know what's going to be in place and whether Trump or Harris wins. The reality is, is that historically it hasn't done a ton. So what it will do is bring certainty. We know our president's going to be, we know what it's going to look like for the next four years and that will bring it. The second thing is interest rates. Interest rates have continued to be very volatile. They've gone up, they've gone down. We saw them get to their lowest lows in over a year and a half just earlier last month. And now they're up back into almost the sevens again. That brings tons of uncertainty. And when you have uncertainty, people just kind of freeze and they don't want to do anything. And that's what's happening now. So why is there one month left? Is because it will take, after all the certainty comes back into the market, it will literally take about a month before buyers who are all on the sidelines, literally just waiting to pounce into this market where they're gonna go, all right, I know what it's gonna be like for the next few years. I wanna buy a home, I'm going in the market and I'm gonna do it. But right now you have a unique opportunity where those buyers are still not moving because of the uncertainty and you have a chance to get a great price on a home because we have doubled the inventory in just over a year. There's plenty of options to choose from and right now you have that choice. If you get into a home and the rates drop, of course you can refinance later. But right now the inventory is, there is a smorgasbord available for you. So that's why Barbara would say, and I would agree, there really is one month before this market potentially goes crazy again. So if you're a buyer, I would suggest getting in now. If you're thinking about buying in the next year, this is probably the best month. I would say, and I would agree. As always, thanks for taking a minute to listen to me ramble and give you my two cents on the market. Hope you're having a great week, great fall. Hopefully some cool weather's gonna come in. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on Brian Real Estate.